Hi everyone. So this is episode six, Furniture Restoration. This should be the final episode. I've done two coats of paint on the doors and on the drawer front. And I've also completed two coats of paint on our cabinet over there. Looks pretty good. I think if I were to do it again, I would use a roller instead of a brush, but it ended up being okay. So the one thing I got to do is I got to pay a little bit of attention to the hardware before we begin. I'm saving the uh, drawer poles, or sorry, the door knobs and the drawer poles, but I don't want it to be this color here. So I'm going to use a combination of a razor knife, or exacto knife and a razor scraper and this tool right here. Now you don't need this, but this is a Dremel. I'm going to use this to remove all the excess paint off of the handles here. You see I've already started and I'm going to do the same for right here. This drawer pull because I didn't want to take it off because they're old brass fittings or brass hardware so the less that you mess with them the better. Going to do that with this Dremel and with this here safety glasses on. Dremels are kind of loud so I'm going to throw my earplugs in as well. And then once I'm done that I'm going to use this razor scraper. It's important to get a good new razor scraper. I'm going to use it to eliminate a little closer to you. I'm going to use this guy here to remove all the excess paint off this glass here. Okay, that looks pretty good. So, Dremel tool, razor scraper, and then after I have that done, I'm going to start talking about how I'm going to reattach the doors and drawer to this cabinet. So I've gone over the two windows with the exacto knife and the razor scraper and they are looking uh, nice and sharp. You can see that if you're careful with the removing, you don't have to worry too much about painting or you don't have to worry about uh, taping off glass if you scrape it off properly onto the Dremel. Starting with a kind of a light wire brush on this, I think it'll be okay to take off most of the paint. If that doesn't work, I will move on to some of the more aggressive options that I have and we'll just see how it goes. Basically, I'm just going to guess and check. I'm going to take my time and if I nick some of the paint around the outside of this, I'm not going to lose my mind because I got more paint. I'll just touch it up after. So, all done. These are cleaned up. These are cleaned up here and another thing I did is I cleaned all of the paint out of these hinge gains here so I have no trouble at all when I go to reinstall it into my cabinet there. The drawer was pretty easy. That looks pretty sweet. See I nicked it a little bit here and a little bit there. No big deal. I'll touch it up when it's all reinstalled. So now I'm going to take all of this and I'm going to put it back into this cabinet here, which is nice. So a nice thing that I did is I taped all the screws into the hinges because it takes a few days when you're painting because you have to let things dry overnight. So I didn't lose a thing, which is rare for me as far as projects go. So I'm going to start installing everything into this cabinet. Okay. So all the stuff has been reinstalled 
on the cabinet. Doors are in. It works. Drawer works as well. I'm going to focus for the next, I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes or so on touch-ups. Touch-ups meaning where I nicked paint when I was refinishing these guys here. I'm noticing that this drawer is a little uneven, so I'm going to tack some boards in behind it so it closes nice and flush. Uh, the doors are looking okay, I think. Oh, well, I got some, I, a little bit of overpaint here. I'm going to get rid of that. That'll be super easy because I didn't sand it or strip it. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to oil the inside of this cabinet so it really pops. So it really looks like the whole entire thing has been done nicely. So that's a, this is a very important step. You want to make sure that you're really nitpicky. You want to, because if, especially if you're selling this thing, somebody's going to want to get their money's worth. Or if you're giving it to your mother, they're going to go over it with a fine tooth comb. Both very important things. So I'm going to take some time. I'm going to jazz it all up. I'll 